but then I liked how you read it and you kept going. You know what I mean? You just pushed through. Hey guys, we're back with another video today. Um, I'm with a hockey athlete, and we're gonna go over some game film from a previous skate and just review it and see what went well and what we can do better. Yeah. Go on. So we'll just watch it do first, and then we'll. So, started off well, and you're playing, you're playing right, right? Yeah. So, I don't know if I would be in such a jump to get up if you see that puck go to this guy, mm. right? Because if it goes up to him, I don't know if I can slow this down. Yeah, so when it goes up to him, right, you should be getting back to the slot in case there's, like, that offside winger that you're covering that you're trying to push out the way if he's trying to get in front of the net for a screen. So you wouldn't have to kind of be um, too on the ball getting up to this defenseman. Um, Yeah, you see it going back. You see it go back, going back down. We can't see exactly where the puck is, but if it's going back down this way, yeah, you should be tracking back to the middle. Like, there's no real hesitation or anticipation for the puck to go out or for you to 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 cut across or because it's not it's not going up the board. It's going down. Yeah. So that's a good play. If it's here, you could e and, and you know you can get there. You could even be calling for it. I'm not sure if you were or not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so, see, the thing is, is that at this point, you know you're a passing option. Yeah. And you don't have time to be low. Yeah. Right? So, I think it starts when you're... Here. You see that? You see that puck below the corner? You should be in front of the anyway, right? And then that way it's not a big deal for you to just be near the boards down low here and then work your way up. But because it's, it's probably behind the red line right now and you're still up here, like not even top of the circle, yeah. you have no choice but to get the puck. But to get the puck higher than you'd like above the hash marks. So anyways, it comes, so from here, I think that's a pretty good play, just chipping it out. There's not much you can do. You have this guy yeah. coming back on you. And, but you kept, you made a move. You tried it. That was good. Nice. Okay, if you see that. You see him, the first guy already forechecking here. Mm -hmm. Then you may want to track outside and go towards the middle for that pass across. Yeah, like somewhere here, because you know. Yeah, but then he 
he was like in front of it. He was like going. Oh, over there. your partner? He like this guy like after like he passed, he was going here. So then like I just like cut through the middle kind of so he couldn't. Like, I see. I see. Okay. And there I should have. I should have kept going. Like I should have, cause the pop was like lying there, and then, like, like I should like I cut back this way, but like I had speed and I should have just like kept it. Yeah. Well, it's not a bad play, but as soon as you cut across, it's like as soon as you're here, if you don't, like if you had if you didn't initiate that and start crossing over, it's hard to pause, and then still start to cross over and still make that back you know yeah so i mean at this point it's a good shot selection i think you got it on that you see where he is and because you see where he's coming from no not you siri um He's, I mean, it, depend, it, it depends how much you see of him and where he's coming from, but you might be able to cut back yeah. on that because right now he's anticipating that you're going down the boards, Yeah. right? And so he's already planning to cut you off, right? He's already there. Yeah. So if you know that, if you, have a, if you have a look and you lead him on like you're going down the boards, you can stop up. But he kind of rubs you off. Short shift. I mean, not really too much that I would critique here. Part of it because it's short, but a lot of it because it's good positioning. Like here, like, the, like you're crossing the blue when he has more speed, you just let him go, right? It's hard for you. You can't be the high guy because there's a, a man right beside you. He continue, continues with speed. I like the way you were in front of the net, like trying to get open and stuff. Like you're tracking the puck, you wanted to help when you should have went, it was on your side. Again, you're following across. You're getting in the puck battle. One thing, just in the puck battle, is if you see, if you see where it is, and you get a sense that it's starting to go this way, yeah. or even if you're not sure, just go on the other side. Try and battle from that side. Yeah, and then that way you you have more leverage because you can push in, mm. right? You can push the battle that way. Or if it comes towards you, their winger. If you get behind him, if you're here and you get behind him. Right, then he can't get in behind you, so you could kick the puck back, bump it out to yeah. this guy here, and now he is the lane, right? Because that one yeah. decides to go in, but because you didn't, then, well, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It worked out because we got the puck, but um, yeah. Sure, that, sure. Next one. This might be the. Oh no, it's not the first one. This is after the first one. I do that. No, 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 no. Nice. Gotta be careful. I I cut it off because you were changing, but right before you were changing, it was like. 
they were about to go on a three on two. Or, okay, well, maybe on a three on two, but they're going on a rush as you're just getting off, right? So, you just got to be careful of that. But, from the start, it was good. I like the way you, well, it worked out in your favor that it went towards you. Making that pass, this guy maybe shouldn't have gone in so far. If he knows that it's there. But, whatever. Pucks, pucks here, like, let's say it's like on the board side, right below the hash marks. It's okay, you can be you can be further down. Nothing's happening, nothing will happen quick enough, nothing will unravel quick enough where you need to be where you are or moving up, right? Even if somehow this guy gets it and you're cutting across, right? Like you don't wanna be too far ahead of it, like you'd wanna time it, Yeah. right? So. Again, be underneath the puck. Be parallel with it. That's not a bad thing at all. Um, yeah, you should be lower, I feel like. Because the puck... Because where's the puck right now? From like It's probably... I don't know if you remember any of this. I know. But, okay. So, let's say it's like... Not ju not quite in the corner, but above it. Right? Like, you shouldn't be this high. Yeah. From what, I'm, from what I can like understand of the play and what I do see, you shouldn't be this high. And then, like, you have a farther, farther space to get back to when it comes to breaking out when it's on your side. And again, because you're not for like not low in the zone, you can't get back to where you should be, which is like right below the hash marks, quick enough yeah. to 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 come out with speed and momentum and stuff. So if you're getting it, you stop and get it, and now you have to turn and go above the hash marks. But you do, and from here it's a good play, like. Now all of a sudden these guys have a chance to put pressure on that feet and it stays in the zone. Hold on, let's go back just a little bit. Where are you? You're here? Okay. That's good. If you have a chance, just finish your check there. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, you keep it in. That guy went off for a change, your other forward. Okay. That's pretty good positioning. Over there. Yeah, I thought the four down here like i was in the cycle because i thought he was going down low and then like, this guy yeah he's down low what do you mean you'll see and then he just <laughs> <laughs> oh okay it's cool. yeah okay not bad not bad the last one here i think this is i think this is your goal So, I didn't record, obviously, like, missed the first maybe 10, 15 seconds of it. So, I, don't, I didn't see how it kind of got to here. But, um, yeah, this is a tricky play sometimes to kind of handcuff because you're here and you don't want to go back because he's right there. Um, but from what I see from this point, like, I don't mind you having to be there. And now you're trying to get back. I like how you made the effort to get back to this guy and you knocked it off his stick. That was good.
Okay, and then I liked how you read it and you kept going. You know what I mean? You just pushed through. And a lot of situations are like that where when you're here, it's like some guys, depending on how close he is, you to judge whether you're going to chip it in, whether you may stop and go back, whether you can keep going. Like, that was a good decision and it paid off. Um, so... <laughs> So, so yeah, um, yeah, that's good. There's more videos, but I don't want to, I don't want to go into too much. So, um, thank you for watching. If you feel inclined, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.